OK, we're going to start by looking at the equation of a straight line. That's the title for the lesson. The equation of the straight line being y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient of the straight line. That's obviously its steepness. And c is the y-intercept. That's where it cuts the y-axis. So there's a y-intercept there. OK, so we're going to look at some simple problems with regards to this. So let's go for example one. What is the equation of the line? With gradient 2. And passing through the point zero minus five. Okay, so make sure you've got that down. Okay, so two things that we need is the gradient and the y-intercept. Okay, so we know that the gradient is two. And we know that the y-intercept is minus 5. Well, how do we know that? Well, if we pass through the point 0 minus 5, that means it's 0 long and 5 down. That means we pass through it minus 5, and we've got a gradient of 2. So that's the two things we need. So the gradient is 2, so that's y equals 2x. The y-intercept is minus 5. So it's y equals 2x minus 5, final answer. OK, example 2. We're going to... Find the equation of the line with gradient this time six and passing through zero eight. Okay, so very steep this time, the gradient which is equal to 6, we're passing through at 0, 8, so it's 0 along 8 up. So that's there, so we can see that the y-intercept then is equal to 8. So it's y equals mx plus c. We need to find the gradient and the y-intercept. Well, the gradient is equal to 6. The y-intercept is where it cut, cuts the y-axis, so that's 8. So it's y equals 6x plus 8. OK, so now what I want you to try is these examples here. So part A, you're going to find the equation of the straight line, which is get gradient 5, passing through 0, 6, and then passing through 0, 10, and then passing through 0, minus 4. So that'll be three straight lines. Part B, another 2. The gradient this time is 2, passing through 0, 4, passing through 0, minus 2, and find the equation of those straight lines. And then finally, when the gradient is minus 3, passing through 0, 5, and passing through 0, minus 3, find the equation of those two straight lines. So altogether, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 straight lines. So take the time to try those just now. OK, example 3. We're just going to change it up and look at something a bit different. OK, so this time we're going to find the gradient. So we're not given the gradient. We want to find the gradient and the y-intercept, so that's where you cut the y-axis, that's C, remember, of the line 4x plus 3y is equal to 2. OK, now, to find the gradient in the y-intercept, you must have the straight line in the form y equals mx plus c, so it must start with y equals, so you need to change the subject of the formula so it starts with y. So on the left-hand side here, I should only have y. OK, so the first thing that I need to do is start to eliminate things from that side. So that 4x, I'm going to move that across to the other side. And I'll have 3y is equal to... Well, that 4x goes across and becomes minus 4x. And I've still got plus 2 over there. Now, it could be tempting at that point to say that the gradient is minus 4 and the y-intercept is 2, but that would be a mistake because that's not in the form y equals mx plus c. It starts with 3y. So how do I get rid of the 3 times y? Well, I need to divide by 3. So I divide everything by 3. So that's minus 4 over 3x plus 2 over 3y. So that's minus 4 over 3x plus 2 over 3y. 
plus 2 over 3. It's now in the form y equals mx plus c. So it's y equals mx plus c. So how do I know it starts with y equals mx plus c? Well, it's not got a 3 in front of it. It's not 4x plus 3y or 3y. It just starts with y. So y equals mx plus c. So what's the gradient? Well, the gradient is right there. The gradient is minus 4 over 3. And the y-intercept is right there. It's 2 thirds. Final answer. Okay, example 4. Example 4, we're going to find the gradient again. We're going to find the gradient and the y-intercept of the line five x plus two y is equal to zero. Okay, so I need to write this in the form y equals mx plus c. So I need to move everything across so that I only have y on the left hand side. Well, the first thing that I'm going to move is that five x across the other side and that will become minus five x. So I've got two y equals minus five x. And then I get rid of that times by 2 by bringing it down and dividing by 2. So it's going to be y equals minus 5 over 2x. So that's now in the form y equals mx plus c. So y equals mx plus c. Well, what's the gradient? Well, that's the value in front of x. That's minus 5 over 2. What's the y-intercept? Well, it doesn't appear to be there, which means the y-intercept then must be 0. Let's try an example 5. We're going to find the gradient and the y-intercept again, given 3x plus 5y minus 1 equals 0. So again, let's get the thing into y equals mx plus c. So I'm going to move the 3x across and move the minus 1 across. So that'll leave me with 5x equals minus 3x plus 1. So again, it could be tempting to say the gradient is minus 3 and the y intercept is 1, but it's not written in y equals. Just now it's 5y equals, so I need to get rid of it times by 5 by dividing by 5. So I divide both things by 5, and then I can quite clearly see the gradient is minus 3 fifths and the y intercept is 1 fifth. So m equals minus 3 fifths and c equals 1 fifth. Final answer. Okay, so now I need you to try these three, three examples. 5x plus 4y equals 1. 3x plus y is equal to 4. And 3y plus 5 is equal to 7x. So I need to, to rearrange to y equals mx plus c and identify both the gradient and the y intercept. Okay, so one final example for y equals mx plus c. Example 6. We're going to show that the point... Two seven lies on the line y equals four x minus one. Okay. So because it says show that we need to back up with a statement. So how do we show that that point lies on the line? Well, two is the x coordinate and seven is the y coordinate. So. We've got a rule here connecting the y-coordinate and the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate is 4 watts of the x-coordinate minus 1. The y-coordinate is 4 watts of the x-coordinate minus 1. So if we sub in those coordinates and it satisfies that equation, then it definitely lies in the line. So let's try that. So the y-coordinate, as we can see, is 7. So I'm going to replace y with 7. The x-coordinate is 2, so I'm going to replace that with 2. So that's 7 equals 4 watts of 2 minus 1. That's 7 equals 7. So LHS equals RHS, therefore, that's three circles, that means therefore, three circles, a triangle, three for, therefore, point lies on the line. So the point lies on the line if, when we sub in the x and the y coordinate, it satisfies the equation, that means that the left hand side will equal the right hand side.